Gary, end of the second week of uh, pre-season. Uh, your thoughts on uh, how things have gone so far? Yeah, I think we had a we had a really good really good first week. Um, the training low was good. The sessions were really good. Um, we made a, you know we made a couple of good signings, introduced the new players. Um, then over the weekend, obviously we two two players left the club in in Joe and Geordie. and you know we, obviously we wish them well in their future and in the rest of their career. But you know what what that does it it, it gives us opportunity to to plan and and bring bring some players in in, in the coming weeks to bolster the squad. And you know um, this week again really good training. Um, We've, you know, there's, there's been a couple of couple of casualties in terms of, you know, AD Barlow got a knock on his ankle, a, a bit of a, a tackle during training, it can't really be helped. Um, so he's rolled his ankle, so AD will be out for a few weeks. Um, and then Tom Anderson's felt a little something in his foot again. I think it's in a different area. So we're just waiting on, we're just waiting on an opinion from a specialist on that. Uh, really disappointing as he, you know, for, for nine or 10 days, he looked really good, really fit. Like, like he was over his injury, but um, like I say, we're just, we're just waiting on seeing what a specialist says in, in the coming days on that one. Kyle Noyle had a bit of a niggling groin problem towards the end of last season, hoping that the summer, the summer off would settle it down. You know, he didn't miss, he didn't miss training during the first week, but still felt a bit of a niggle. So we took the, op- we took the decision to get it sorted straight away. Um, new physios come in and. You know, we wanted to nip it in the bud straight away. So Kyle's had surgery to cure the problem, and it'll be a four to six week rehab on that. So we'd like to think we'd have Kyle back for possibly the Lincoln game in in the Carabao Cup. So uh, yeah, there's there's three casualties there, but you know, in, in terms of the rest, we've had two two real good weeks training, and we go into a game tomorrow at Armthorpe, sharing the load with the minutes. You know. Uh, there's quite a few players coming back from the end of their rehab that have started to join in training, uh, but but the, the first couple of games probably come a little bit too early for them. So it's important that we don't risk them and we just get them back to full fitness. And the same with a couple of the lads that are, you know, that, that have joined the club and a couple of existing players. Just some are a little bit behind of us. Um, so we go to we go to Armfort with a mix with a mixed group really, first team and some youth team players filling numbers up for the second half. I want to touch upon the players that that are coming back from injury, like Sir John Taylor. Whereabouts is John at the minute in terms of his uh, his progression? Yeah, John's all right. He's uh, he missed a couple of days because of he was because his honeymoon. He got married in the summer, um, something that couldn't be changed. And you know he come back, and to be fair to him, he looks good. He, he he'll feature he'll feature at the weekend, and it's great to have someone like John back. His character, his experience, and above all, his quality. You know, it's great to have him back. And what what we have to do is just make sure that we let him recover well and we don't overdo it with him. Tommy Rowe? Tommy Rowe, similar. Yeah, not missed a training session. Uh, and to be fair to him, he's he's looking sharp. You know, he's he's, he's really lead, he's really leading the group, setting an example, and he'll feature tomorrow at Armfort. Ben Close, we're about to see seen him this afternoon running around here for, uh, for a fairly lengthy spell of time. How's he coming along? Yeah, Ben. Ben. Ben's one that just was was struggling to, you know, shake off shake off his injury from last year. Obviously, had surgery and, and been doing rehab over the summer, etc. But but again, I think Michael coming in as as you know really give him some confidence in in time scale of when he's going to be back and, and a real put a real plan together. So he's really picked up his training this week. He joined in last week in quite a little bit of the unopposed technical drills we were doing um, but it's just him getting the confidence now to, to feel like he's okay and get over it and the, the base fitness to really be robust and, and crack on with it so you know every day he's getting stronger. In terms of the, this game against Armthorpe this weekend for the ones that will play what are you are looking to uh, to get out of it for, for the, from those? Just just an enjoyment of playing a game again get get your fit, it's fitness really get your fitness some of them will play 45 some will play an hour just just get some minutes under your belt and then be a good experience as well for seven or eight youth team players second year scholars that are going to come and, and get half hour for us as well This is how we've traditionally as a club kicked off a pre-season uh, programme with that local friendly uh, quite an enjoyable occasion usually aren't they? Yeah really good you know it gives the opportunity for 
the fans to you know pack an only an on league setup. Uh, it brings them good revenue for you know for the start of their season. And you know you'll have Doncaster fans, you'll have Armfort fans in there that you know support both teams. So uh, yeah, it'll be a good occasion. We go there. We, we're very much about doing things for the community, and uh, we look forward to the game. Uh, you mentioned the new lads coming in. Obviously, some might not be available this weekend, but how have they settled in so far? Do you feel really good? Um, the three signings are really good characters. Obviously, we, we checked that out quite thoroughly before committing to signing them. Um, that, so they've really added, you know, some some good characteristics to the group. They've, they've fitted in really well. We've got um, some trialists in the building again that are good lads. So. Uh, you know, there's, there's five or six around the group that have really added quality, and you know, you know, a little bit of banter, and you know, a bit of a bit of humour and personality to the squad. It does seem to be in a really good atmosphere down here over this last fortnight. Yeah, it does. I think we've, I think we've really restructured things quite well. We've we've added we've added good staff. We've got new staff in the building that have that are really good in their department, and you know, really competent at what they do. And you know, I think the lads can see that and feel that they're in good hands all, all, all over the all over the training ground. You mentioned the the two lads that have departed, uh, Jordy and, and Joe. In terms of getting the squad moulded nice and early, how good is it to get players out that, that probably weren't going to have the, as much of an opportunity, or, or would at least give you that breathing space to uh, to, to do a bit more work to, with the squad? Yeah, you'd, you'd rather you'd rather it happen early on in pre-season, um, and then and then you can really focus on what you've got in the building and work with them and, and add some quality to that. So you know, obviously, it's it, it's testament to them to to want to have got things done so soon themselves as well, because some players can purposely drag things on and just sit and collect a wage. And you know, them too. To be fair to them, Geordie had the opportunity of a club a club wanting him, so you know he. he chose to entertain that opportunity and, and it, yeah it was it was it was good for us we weren't going to stand in his way and then uh, Joe on the other hand you know Joe, Joe wanted to leave the club he wanted to part part ways didn't feel that he was going to feature as much as he'd, he'd like to and you know that's that's fair enough so if, if, if he wants to leave then then we, we don't want players here that don't want to be here you know to upset to upset or dis- disrupt anything good that we've got got going on not not saying that He's a bad lad at all, but I'm just saying you'd rather it that way. So it is good to it is it is good to move people on so early in pre-season. In terms of incomings, it'll be the big question that supporters are asking. But where are you with the the next sort of players that are coming in? And there's 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 conversations, there's there's targets, but sometimes things happen daily which change priorities. So we we, we wait on we wait on some news from the likes of. The Aiden one and, and the the Tom Anderson one, and we we see we see what we need next, really.